hello hello all you beautiful people on the internet how is your days going mine it's going pretty good and i hope yours is going just as well i hope you did all have a really good new year's I'm sure loads of you out there went and had parties and stuff like that but i hope you did all enjoy it even if you didn't go out and do anything but we are back today i've got a new product to uh show you um it's to do with astral radiance so that's amazing you stay there so we can actually continue filling out the binder a bit and when i get it to a point that i feel happy enough to show it off i'll put it up on social media or i'll show it here just for the ease of it because you know we've been opening a lot of astral radiance it's the main pack like set that i'm going after and its price is staying stable for the time being um the tins i've noticed have been shooting upwards i've still got to get one more than before the price goes sky high the elite trainer box has gone back up but the booster box seems to be okay so thinking about maybe uh i'm sorry uh, i had to thinking about maybe still getting one of those booster boxes they are uh retailing pretty low on amazon at the moment so but for now, we've got another part of the lot that came out with Astral Radiance, and that is the Cleaver V-Star box. I've been after this for a very, very long time. I think, believe it, retails for like around £40 to nearly like 50 something ridiculous like that. But I've been wanting this for a very, very long time. For those who don't know, these are like a big collection box. Like it says, Cleaver V-Star Premium Collection. It comes with a full art Cleavor V. I believe it's full art anyway. Yeah, full art. You get the um, uh, Cleavor V Star itself. And then you get a jumbo card of the V Star card. I think that's what it is anyway. It might just be an all V. Don't think so though. You also get a typical V Star counter there. You get those with the Elite Trainer boxes as well. But you also get a cool little pin of Cleavor himself there. Uh, for those who don't recognise him, he is the Evolution of Scyther in the Syrian region, I believe. Is it Scyther? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, instead of him evolving through trade and with the metal coat, you can get him into this somehow. Personally, I've not played enough of Arceus to even get anywhere near that. I should really start playing it again though. But it also comes with five booster packs, you can see what packs are in there, but those are two Astral Radiance there. That says to me that this is part of the Ash Radiance lot. I imagine anyway. Yeah, so we got some beautiful promo cards in there. Good amount of packs. Beautiful pin. Now I'm going to take this off camera to actually open it. Because otherwise it's going to be a pain to try and open on camera. Just because of the pure size of it. So there we go. Now it is all out of its protective box. Let's... Uh, this thing off, get you a better look at everything. We'll grab those promo cards out in just a second. So, like I said, there's your typical V Star counter, nothing special really about it. There's your uh, really nicely well, that's what Pokemon Company are really good for is their pins. I will say that. The camera wants to focus on it. I don't think it wants to focus. There we go. Yeah, there we go. A really nice Cleavor V pin. Pop that up there for now. Here's that big Cleavor V jumbo card. Love the fact it's textured as well. That's another one for the wall. A very beautiful card. And just the Pokemon in general looks amazing. Uh, let me just get these promo cards out for you. And I will sleeve them up instantly because they are too delicate and precious to me to even be out. But there is the co-card for it. Whoever does claim that, I hope you got very lucky with the packs that you got. Uh, let's start with the Cleaver V full art. So there's the Cleaver V full art. Very nice artwork over there. But then the V star itself looks so much better. So V-Star Pokemon had one specific move that they could use once per, like, a whole game. Then you'd flip your V-Star counter over so you couldn't use it again. 
Not all V Pokemon didn't have that. I think on occasion they might have. Um, but yeah, looking very nice and amazing. Let me just grab a couple sleeves for them because we can't have them getting uh, messed up. This is my first V-Star card as well. I've never actually owned one before, and you know what? I wouldn't have any other one as my first one, because Cleavor is a beautiful Pokemon. I love Cypher and Sizzle, so that's just another one to add to that line. The pack's out there. Move this out of the way. So you got two Astral Radiance, perfectly with, with the Alga and Palkia on it. we got our Brilliant Stars, and two Fusion Strike. So, I'm really excited for the Fusion Strike and Astral Radiance. Brilliant Stars, not so much. Not anything I really know about in it. So, it's not like there's much I'm after when it comes to this. Um, I do have... I did finally get my hands on a Silver Tempest ETB. So, at some point, you will see a video uploaded of that. Yeah, we're going to get into this Brilliant Stars pack. Um... Nothing that I know of in here that I specifically want. But hopefully we can still get some nice pulls. Because we are starting off with a beautiful leaf energy. Fresh water set. A Starmie. A Weavile. Uh, let me put that energy separate. Clefairy. Cherubi. Sock. Corefish. Golet. A reverse holo Golok, that's a coincidence. And a regular uh, Motham. Ah. Oh well. Still good to get though. Uh, let's go with the Bolton V. Fusion Strike pack. Fusion Strike I know has a really nice Gengar card in it. That I would love to get my hands on. It's either just a Gengar V. Or it's got. I know it's got a V Max Gengar in the set somewhere. There's the co-card. Pop that off to the side. One, two, three, and four. I don't think we're getting a port this one, but you never know. So we've got a Steel Energy. An Eldegoss. Power Tablets. Uh, I don't specifically want to give my Pokemon Tablets, thanks. But thanks for the offer. Beware. Impidemp. Snom. Onyx. Jigglypuff. Durant. Gossifleur. A regular rare Latios. That's a really nice Latios art, though. Like, that's actually quite nice. For a regular rare, anyway. Hopefully, we can get something decent out of these packs. I mean, I know that... I love just opening these up anyway. I'm not fussed if I get good pulls, if I get bad pulls. But you never know, do you? One, two, three, and four. I think I messed up the card trick. No, I didn't. So for the next one we have a Fire Energy, a Sand Slash, Suwadu, Suwadloon, I don't know how to pronounce that, Chromomatic, Voltorb, that is a really weird art of Voltorb, I don't like that one, Pansage, Cuffant, Gligar, Slugma, Reverse Hollow, Yvolto, a regular Ractus, you're not a rare, are you? Huh, you are. That's weird. Ractus is a rare. That's a really nice Evolto, though. So, onto the Fusion Strike packs. We do have a very beautiful Astro sleeves on standby, just in case. We're going to start with. Oh, who do I like more? You know, I like both of you equally. So, we'll start with the Dialga pack. Like I said, I'm happy with these anyway, just the fact I've got those cards there. And I do plan on one day sending them off to uh, a grading company to get a load of my uh, cards that I've pulled over the years, like graded and all that. Just wait until I've got like a good number of them to warrant sending them. With the code cards as well, you can't, you don't know with this one if. You're going to get a pull or not because you still get the trainer gallery cards in this. Hopefully we can get one of those because those are sort of more rarer than the V cards, I think. But we'll soon see anyway. So we're starting off with a Leaf Energy. A Duat. A Yan Mega. I need to put these in a separate pile. 
Silene, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Scyther, Hisirian Basculin. I didn't know Basculin had like a different form. Syrian Voltorb, Reverse Hol Hollow Spicy Season Curry, Regular Rare, Syrian Avalog. Nothing there, but I think there is a card or two from that pack that the binder does need, so that's still not bad. I'm still thinking again another build and battle just to try increase the Astral Radiance pools. So quite a few in here that like I won. So there's a the code card there. Well, wow. Astral Radiance has a lot of amazing cards, like especially like the Zoroarks. The Assyrian ones, like they're amazing, honestly. But yeah, I'm hoping to get my hands on the full booster box at some point in the future. I'm not sure when. Hopefully before the prices go like sky high, hopefully. Um if I can't, then I'll get like two build and battles and it gives me more card storage then as well. But we do have Crown Zenith coming out on the 20th of January. Uh, and I've got the Lucario V Elite Trainer box ready. And the two Reggie boxes ready to be purchased for when they come out. So we'll do like a big Crown Zenith opening. So people can get an idea of what comes in them. People should know already. But they're changing the ETBs up. So you've always... They're costing a bit more now when uh, the Scarlet and Violet lot comes out. So you always get like a promo card and like an extra two packs, I think it is. Something like that. I think, yeah, two packs because it looks up to like ten. But still, it's going to be great. Uh, it should be a great long video with you guys. And I hope you will enjoy it when it comes to that. But now, let's get into the final pack. Hopefully we get some last pack magic. Maybe not. Maybe we will. We'll soon see. So we got a Dark Energy. We got a Sweet Honey. We got a Cricketune. Spicy Seasoned Curry. A Yanma. A Drifloom. Pseudo-Rudo. Combi. Rolts. A Reverse Hollow Milk Tank. I don't have that in the barn yet. That, that's a, that, that's, that's a, uh, that's, uh, um you're not supposed to show up yet i i've ne i've never pulled one of these that's a rainbow rare hisuian typhlosion v star ironically in the cleaval v star box but that's a rainbow rare that is beautiful. I've never seen a Rainbow Rare in person. Like, actually been able to just sit there and admire it. But that is an amazing one to get. And a very beautiful card for the binder. Wow. I've got to get this card graded at some point. That is amazing. Wow. I mean, you take the throne easily. I mean... As you guys do already know because of the box. We did get both of these cleavors today. But I'll be here for cards, don't get me wrong. But this just... Wow. This definitely beats out that. I'm not even going to lie. That is a beautiful card right there. Uh, centering. Yeah. I think it's a bit too far over on the right, to be honest. So it wouldn't get a PSA 10, but... That is still a beautiful card. Honestly, I could not be more happy with that box. Wow. I have no words, but, um, wow. I mean, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, a like would be very much appreciated, but you don't need to. I just love doing these videos for you guys out there who might not be able to afford stuff like this. With how the cost of living crisis is in the UK, I wouldn't be shocked if no one can. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's been a great episode. We pulled a beautiful card. Like, honestly, it looks amazing. But I hope, honest to God, you guys all have a good day. But until the next one, I will see you later. Peace out.